Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcast from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room, where I'm reviewing an excellent game featuring airplanes on the Sega Dreamcast. The only problem with this is that none of them transform into robots with attitude problems. Seriously, what was Konami thinking? All these great airplanes, none of them transform. Released in 1999 for the Sega Dreamcast, if you enjoy arcade-style flight combat games, you're going to love Air Force Delta. The game feels like Konami's answer to Namco's Ace Combat series, they're very similar. And I think Tom Clancy's Hawks took the plot right out of this game as you're a mercenary group fighting evil mercenaries. Flying pretty much every airplane ever made. There's a total of 30 jets to collect in Air Force Delta, a game that's surprisingly good, even better than I expected, on the Sega Dreamcast. You start off flying smaller jets like the F-5, which many of you may remember as the bad guy planes from the end of Top Gun, which was absurd of course. This game is pretty silly too when you get down to it, but lots of fun as you complete missions and earn money that you can then spend on new planes. Like the F-16, F-22, MiG-29, Su-27, and many, many more. The missions give you some nice variety with a mixture of dogfighting, ground targets, and even some pseudo end boss battles. There's a couple difficulty settings and you generally go into combat with a lot of missiles. The guns are pretty much useless, but you'll get used to locking onto targets, blowing them out of the air or destroying them on the ground while making screaming sounds. It's raining bombs! <laughs> this game is great, it looks good, it plays well, it's really affordable these days. And I'm surprised it's taken me this long to play it. There's a lot of different environments, about 20 missions and 30 planes to collect. And if you see it all the way through, you unlock a whole bunch of other stuff. Like one of the jets from G.I. Joe, I think. My only real gripe with the game is that it's a bit awkward with the Dreamcast controller, not the best controller for this kind of game. You can customize your buttons, and once you get into it, it plays really well. I mean, look at the realism. It's like Return of the Jedi. Which was fact. The game also gives you some rockin' beats, many of which are a bit cheesy, but not everything can be Iron Eagle with one vision. One of the greatest Queen songs ever. That one's for those of you still living in the Cold War, a MiG-25 shooting down SR-71s. And here we have one of my favorite jets, the F-16, laying waste to pretty much everything that you put in front of it. After each mission, you can sit back and watch a replay of the action. What's not to love about this game? In fact, according to eBay, there's even a couple other ones for PlayStation 2 and Xbox. So a big classic game room shout out and thank you once again to my man Frank from San Leandro, California for sending this to the show. It's always a great time to blow things up with airplanes. Especially when it's on the Sega Dreamcast.
You'll find loads of missions, lots of great airplanes, Air Force Delta is a game worth owning. Now if only these F-14s could go back in time like the final countdown. You can tell I grew up on these movies. I don't even like flying, but I like blowing things up with airplanes from the comfort of my couch.